Prince William and Princess Kate helped their local community on Thursday by volunteering at a food bank. The Prince and Princess of Wales travelled to the Windsor Food Share, not far from their new home of Adelaide Cottage, to draw attention to the challenges people face during these more difficult winter months. For her public appearance, Kate re-wore her Hobbs London tilde coat in a vibrant shade of fuchsia pink. The princess debuted the pink coat in 2021. She wore it to take part in a science lesson at a school in Harrow, London. The best-selling tilde coat is a staple for Hobbs London. The company bring back the iconic coat very often. Largely due to its immaculately cut feminine shape, beautiful tailoring and elegant design, it's a must-have in Kate's wardrobe for looking polished during the colder months. The royal teamed her coat with puddle trousers from Jigsaw, a slender and sleek garment that is typically fitted at the waist before cascading into a loose pool, or puddle at the ankle. The princess also wore her Aurelia London's gold-plated chain huggy hoop earrings. However, fans do not need to head to Hobbs London to purchase the coat, because luckily, the coat has just landed in the Marks & Spencer's seasonal sale. It's selling out fast at Marks & Spencer but fans can also shop the same look at John Lewis. The coat costs a whopping £179 in the Marks & Spencer sales, after originally costing £299. Royal commentators think Kate Middleton's matching polo neck jumper and coat could be a sartorial dig at Meghan Markle. It comes after the former royal claimed in the recent Netflix documentary that she wore muted colours when working as a member of the firm in order to not attract as much attention. Meghan said in the Netflix documentary, To my understanding, you can't ever wear the same colour as Her Majesty if there's a group event, but then you also shouldn't be wearing the same colour as one of the other, more senior members of the family. So I was like, well what's a colour that they'll probably never wear? Camel? Beige? White? So, I wore a lot of muted tones, but it also was so I could just blend in. Like, I'm not trying to stand out here. So there's no version of me joining this family and trying to not do everything I could to fit in. I don't want to embarrass the family. Kate's brunette hair was styled in her signature vampy curls, framing her delicate features. As for makeup, the princess opted for a soft glam look consisting of neutral eyeshadow and some mascara, and also some blush. Kate, Princess of Wales has stepped out wearing a new shade of lipstick recently. It spoke exclusively to Sarah Amelia Fogg, celebrity makeup artist and owner of award-winning brow brand Brows by Sarah about Kate's subtle makeup change. Kate tends to opt for a pop of pink that isn't too in your face. She tends to choose a subtle shade of pink that complements her skin tone perfectly without drawing too much attention away from the rest of the face of makeup. Kate is a huge trendsetter, and no doubt will influence the makeup industry with her new pink lip color. As for whether anyone can wear pink lipstick, Sarah said, I've always said that pink lipstick is the hardest shade to pull off. There are so many variations and tones of pink that it's difficult to even know where to start. The couple were met by Food Shares organizer, Sarah Kemba, and Reverend Matthew Scott, minister of Deadworth Green Baptist Church, where the initiative is based. Its 48 volunteers now help around 7,000 people a year and have seen demand for its services soar by 18% in the last 12 months as the cost of living crisis has bitten. Each parcel will last around four days and can either be picked up from the church or delivered. Toiletries and cleaning products are also provided on a monthly basis. While helping out, William and Kate also pushed around shopping carts, filling them up with produce to bag up for these families in need. Kemba added, they were just so friendly. We found them so open and putting us at ease. They were comfortable in everything they were doing. They're such a lovely couple. The manager continued, they wanted to be involved, they wanted to be hands-on and not just come and see what we were doing. They asked, can we physically get involved and do stuff? I'm more than happy for more hands to help. The pair also teased that they could return in the near future. Kemba said, they've been invited, and if I'm short of volunteers, I know where to go. And if I'm
Prince William and Princess Kate helped their local community on Thursday by volunteering at a food bank. The Prince and Princess of Wales travelled to the Windsor Food Share, not far from their new home of Adelaide Cottage, to draw attention to the challenges people faced during these more difficult winter months. For her public appearance, Kate re-wore her Hobbs London tilde coat in a vibrant shade of fuchsia pink. The princess debuted the pink coat in 2021. She wore it to take part in a science lesson at a school in Harrow, London. The best